All right, guys, this is House of Jacobs Gaming, and we are doing another build. And we're not gonna review this stuff, we'll do that in another video, uh, like the cooler and stuff. But we are hitting some uh, bottlenecks with our i3 that is currently in our gaming rig, this cool uh, fractal design case. And we're running an Intel i3-9100F. So uh, we're hitting some bottlenecks. Uh, when I'm trying to stream, it gets kind of stuck and stuttery when we're trying to stream a heavy AAA game like Modern Warfare or uh, sometimes Sea of Thieves does that. And when I'm looking, it's not our video card, our video card 1650 Super, it's the CPU that's just maxed out to the, to the hill. So we have Gabriel here Hi. who plays with us. Uh, he's not on the stream right now, but he is allowed to play. But we are going to go up to a i7 8700K. Now, I know what you're thinking, Jason, why would you do that if we have the 10th gens out? Or you could go with a 9th gen, which might be a little bit faster. Here's why. The 9th gen i7s to, do not have hyper-threading. Yes, they have two more cores. This has uh, the i6, or the 6-core version. All right, this is 6 cores. But it hyper-threads, making it actually seem like uh, 12 cores. Now that is great when you're doing a lot of multitasking and when we're streaming and gaming that is a multitask. So I'm going to be running this uh, at the core clocks right now because our motherboard is not capable of overclocking. Um, but even with that said I could have gone with a much smaller fan but we're going with the liquid cooler. This bad boy right here, the EVGA 280 milliliter liquid cooler, okay? Uh, why do you think we're going with this, Gabriel? Oh, because I think it just might work better and... Well, you would think that, but no? I'm gonna let you know that there are plenty of fans out there that are actually sometimes quieter than these, right? And just as efficient. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but look, if you look in here, right? And we got a ton of room in here, right? We have a ton of room. See that little tiny fan there? Yes. Right, that's what's powering it now. So if you wanted to put a fan on this, you could, but those fans are like this big. So you'd rather have a tiny fan? Well, I'd either rather have a tiny fan, which will not handle overclocking in the future. Yeah. And that tiny fan is designed for an i3. The i7 does, the i7, un does not come with a fan because it requires more than a regular stock fan. So I had to make a decision, right? I wanna be able to future-proof this a little bit because I'm going to have to either have a big giant fan, which I don't really like the look of inside my case, and it's just an aesthetic thing, um, or go with an AIO, which is an all-in-one liquid cooling. So in here is the radiator, the two fans you need, and the coolant is already in here, all sealed in. So you just buy one thing, all done, right? So they just keep reusing it some? Right, so we can, when we change out our motherboard, we can use this to actually overclock this card, or this chip. And instead of getting the high end of, I believe 4.7 is what it gets now, we'll actually, I can actually push up to 5.0 pretty easily uh, with this after all the things I've read about it. So. And I don't take up huge amount of stuff, and it to me it's more aesthetically pleasing to have a, a little bit smaller. Plus, um, now we can use this to mount and pull some air out. We have the two fans that are included in the case. We actually gain two more fans at the same time. So we gain CPU cooling, right? It'll be better. We gain two more fans to move heat in and out of here, and we gain the capability of liquid cooling all in one thing. Thing is, what if it breaks like these? What if these break? Yeah. Well, then you could end up with liquid on your stuff. It but doesn't. the liquids that they use in this are not like conductive and everything, and you just have to clean it up and replace things. Oh, okay. That's like it's good. yeah. I remember we were talking about that. Right. Like so a lot. Of, some breaks. people will use distilled water and stuff like that. But uh, they said that this stuff in here, and I, I can look it up and see what it is. But um. It looks like it will be good, pretty easy to clean, and this was a pretty high rated thing. EVGA, if you look, EVGA, who, who made our card? 
EVGA. They make really good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start kind of getting this all in, into uh, ready to uh, do this. I'm gonna set Gabriel up and Gabriel is actually going to do the disassembly and the reassembly to get everything in there and I'll help out along the way. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our case laid down the side, right? We took the cover off and you said, oh, maybe we should clean the glass. Well, it's not the glass that needs to clean, it's just a little dusty. So this has been running pretty, pretty heavy for pretty much since we built it back in February. We game almost every day, we stream almost every day. I use it for video uploads and everything else, which is another reason, like video rendering, this i3 is slow. <laughs> so we're gonna use some just little uh, air duster stuff to kind of clean that as we go along. But I'm seeing a problem. Hmm. See, maybe you see the same problem. Boom. Okay, there's only two spots you can mount this, up here or here. Where do you think it's gonna fit? There. Right, why isn't it gonna fit up here? This is this big, and this is this big. Right. All right, so what I was thinking originally was that I would take this, let's turn it up this mm -hmm. way to help out, and mount, mount it up top, right? Uh -huh. But this is in the way. Yeah. And there's a reason you want it up top, okay? So I was looking. And we could do one of two things. We can mount it here or mount it on top. So you mount it in the front, what you end up with is you're bringing cold air through, which is good, right? You get cold air that goes through there, the liquid gets cooled. But then it blows hot air because the, it builds up on the radiator, it blows hot air into the rest of this. Oh, so you want to top mount it so that the hot well, air Well, like... right, so at the top, if you top mount it, it pulls the hot air out of here and pushes it, and pushes it out. Can you think of something that would be wrong with doing that, though? What, doing it up here? Yep. Besides that, we can't fit it with this cage. Other than if you think and spill it all over everything? Well, right, so it's at the top, so if it does leak, it'll spill down on everything, right? Here, it doesn't. It, do it just does the front, so that's one thing. The other thing is... Yes. So you're pulling hot air out, right? Mm -hmm. This brings liquid to, let me just pull this over here. You got the thermal paste on here while I'm trying to fix. So this is a radiator, okay? So if it were on top, it would pull hot air into the liquid to cool the liquid. So it'd make it hot liquid. It would make it hot, li hot. Oh, that's but nice. it would it would work. It still takes some of the heat away, right? But then you're bringing hotter liquid back to the CPU. So your CPU could actually run hotter. Ooh, and then it could break. It could, yep, yep. Or it could just shut down, or they have this, this thing, this protection in it, what it does is it throttles down. So oh. instead of running it, say, 4.7, it'll run it like a 4.2. Well, I mean, that's not... It's not a lot, but when you times that by 12, and it's a lot, Different. okay? So the number doesn't sound like a lot, but when it comes to PC performance, it is a lot. Because I was saying that I want to be able to clock this to 5.0, right? But yeah. Which is only 0.3 higher. But at 5.0, it is a lot more powerful. And it can run But it what did I say at the beginning? We can't overclock with this motherboard, can we? Nope, we gotta get a new one. Right, so I'm not doing that. We're not doing that right now. But if we can't overclock with this motherboard, but just don't overclock it. Anyway. And we don't overclock it. Does it need the extra protection from heat? Running stock, I told you a fan could do it, right? Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a liquid cooler. Okay. So the other thing is when you put it in the front, you're bringing all that cold air in originally, and it cools this farther, and it makes the CPU the CPU colder, but then pumps hot air into our video card. Guess Ooh. what happens to the video card as it gets hot? It's, it starts like melting up. No, no, no. Dang, that does no. suck. It throttles down. Oh, dang. Yeah, they, they have all these protections. So. At least it only throttles down. So, so here's, here's what I'm thinking. We've mm -hmm. got two options. Top mount or front mount. It'll fit in both. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I don't use this. I don't, I just don't use it. 
I've used this once to install Windows. I do have an external one, and maybe I can just get rid of this one or keep it for something else, maybe. like for another computer or something. But yeah. right now, I don't use this, and I don't intend on using it. And I would rather have cool air coming in to keep our CPU cold and hot air going out because we're not gonna be overclocking that. We don't need the extra cool air is what I'm kind of thinking. What do you think? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, and then the, and these things. All right, so now, not only do we have to take this off, take the motherboard out to oh. do all the mounting, but now we have to take this out too. I, I don't, I, I, you might not feel safe with me. But... You'll, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. But we are gonna blow all this out as we go along, make it nice and clean. And um, he noticed that there is a lot of dust on the bottom here. Yeah, like right, right. there. This is where, boy. yeah, this dusty boy <laughs> is where our um, power supply pulls in air and it blows out its own air here. So it just comes in out, in out, like that. Yeah. So we'll take this off, clean it up, and um, since we're already in here, and we'll do all that stuff. So uh, let us get set up. Let me get some tools and we'll get Gabriel all ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so we ran into some issues. <laughs> These are rivets. And though we wanted the top mounted, I'd have to drill out all this, right? So now I was thinking maybe I should just drill it out. Well, in the end, when I try and fish this in here to see if it has room to top mount, um, this is right here. Like our motherboard is real tall. This is, so it's, it's just not gonna work as a top mount. We have to front mount it, but. So we, have, we do have to front mount it, which is where I wanted it to be in the end anyways, but, but not right now. But that also means just a little bit more work. Nothing, it's not more work. No, I don't have to drill and stuff. That's, oh. it's less work. All right, so we're gonna move to front mounting. So let's get this off. I think this whole thing comes off here. Cause we have to take out the fans. We're gonna have to. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was screw. Keep on smashing my toe. There you go. Yay. There's also a piece of a zip tie in here from when we, from when Gage last built it and didn't take that out. Didn't take it out. What was that zip tie that was used for? Nothing. It was used. It's actually just a brand new zip tie that has that was used for nothing. All right, so we need to unhook the fans. Okay, here's a fan header. Take this off here. Okay. It's a fan header. Um, it's a spot where the fans plug in. Okay. Oh. And that, that's that fan. Yeah, yeah. Get it out of there. Okay. And then we have to follow the one for this fan. Where does it go? Right. Right there. Yeah. Let me see. Wait, no, 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 no. No, get out of the way. Yeah, it's not. No, where'd it go? It's right. Can you see the line that's being pulled? Uh -oh. right. I see the line that's being see, pulled. You, yeah, you were just pulling it just right. Yeah, right there. This one? Oh, okay. There we go. Fans are disconnected. Pull that back here. Because we have to, we're going to have to reconnect those up top. Okay, you might have to pull it. What do you mean I have to pull it? It's stuck right here. Okay, so you bring it back through, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Get that out of the way. Oh. I know this whole thing. Oh. There oh. we go. Hey! I figured it out. All right, so you got to take these fans off. Me? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, you. Who else? Okay, yeah. those, that's a full-size screwdriver. Is that a full-size screwdriver bit? Bigger. Need a bigger bit. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Yes. That's the, you gotta use the right one. You can't just use any old one. It's number two Phillips head. Yep. Yeah, they put them in there tight. Oh, I thought you got them as well. No, dude, these came pre-installed. Yeah. Stop. Leave this hand on the back here, push it on that, and then turn. Okay, hold on. Let me put these. It's just this little teeny bit. Yeah, a little teeny bit. They can 
that hot stick because it goes all the way through. I'm gonna put these with the, uh, what'd you do with the, oh, thank you. With the CD drive. There you go. Go ahead. Get all the rest of my time. Um, we had to take the, uh, because this is a 280, this case can handle a 240 without having to remove anything, but I went with the 280 because I wanted the extra cooling later on. But uh, we went with the 280 and I have to remove the, um, yeah, the hard, oops, the hard drive cage. Um, so what I'll end up doing is probably mounting it somewhere else in here after we're done and I'll show you where that goes. But now that this is on, we'll have Gabriel Yay. put on the fans. And I think it'll probably be easiest to do if it's standing up. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure. Ooh. How do you want to do it? Standing up or sitting down? Mm. Where's the um the oh, yeah. Like the top, the ones that are going to go up here. Right? No, nope, we're doing these first. Mm, probably sit down. You want it laid down? Here you go. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant like it. No, 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 no. I'll we'll have this. Okay. That's, that's okay. Yeah, hold on. Let's find the right screwdriver. Okay. The fans go on this way. Yep. Okay? And then you want to make this towards the middle, I think. Yeah, it'll be towards the middle. So you'll put it on like this. Okay. All right? So I'll start this one just to keep it on there so you can do the other one. Okay. And this is going to get this out of the way. All right, so we remounted the fans. Yeah. Um, and we have both of the fans coming out this way, so I can run all the fan header stuff up through here. Uh, I just wanted to have it all hidden, like I kind of did before. So now we got a hook. hook. What do you think's next? This guy, right? You go on here? Oh, I was just about to say. Oh, yeah, but first we got to get this fan out <laughs> and the old CPU out. Oh no. Oh yes. Alright, here you go. Fan's it's... not that hard. Here you go. Yeah, it's fair. Let's just pull it out. Okay, first disconnect it. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Give me my skinny little fingers. Okay, there, disconnect it. Go ahead. I just pull it out? You had no, you gotta no. They're locked in there. Are you just gonna let me figure this out on my own? Look. Oh! Yep, yep, there's two more. Eh. Eh. Okay, pull it out. Jeez, how does this work? Oh, oh, oh! What are you doing? Pull it out. I don't want to break it. There Ooh, you go. Why does it look like that? So that's thermal paste, right? So this came with thermal, like a thermal pad already on it. So we're also going to have to clean this so off. Tiny. What's so tiny? That. 
Oh, well, you're about to see something even smaller. Look, push down on this and yes. move it out. Yep, this is gonna be the CPU. This is the central yeah. processing unit. Okay. This feels like a mouse trap. Yeah. Pull out of there. This? No. This? Yep, careful with it. Don't touch the bottom of it. Oh. That's it. All right, now here. <laughs> Look, we gotta set it on something on the bottom because you can't touch the bottom. Okay. Um, here, we'll use this. Dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. We, we just don't want to bend any of those because we can use that later on to build a computer for you guys' room when we get enough parts. Okay. Oh. Open this bad boy up. Cool. So oh, wait, before we put that in, let's get the mount on this. All right, so I'm gonna close this back. Okay, so we got the socket out, or the thing out, and you have to put this mount on the back. Oops. Oh. Oh. Well, luckily, uh -huh. we should not have to take our motherboard out. Some motherboards you're gonna have to lift up to get to the back access here. But we're going to be replacing this uh, mounting area because uh, this one yeah, this has a mount, special mount for the water cooling. So oh, yeah. let me get that and the instructions because we're going to follow the instructions on this. Okay, we're following instructions now. So the instructions said, take this thing here, this part G. Okay, this, and you're going to put it in these four holes. Boop, 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 boop. I did not make these holes; they were already on the motherboard. Yeah. I'm assuming all motherboards Promise. have these. If they, if you have the Intel ones, this uh, EVGA cooler also comes with all the AMD stuff, but we're running Intel, so that's what we're doing. Oh, so, yeah. So we need. Nope. That's a. What does that say? AMD. Okay. Do we want? Do we have an AMD? No. We have this. This is AM4. This is AMD. Oh, we need that. Yeah, we need it. Hello. Yeah. Next candle. Yeah. Which one is Uh, yeah, that one. Right. Like the bottom right one. Okay. So if you start from the top left and then go right and you're Top left is number one, then I'll be doing number three. Okay, so now we're gonna put the CPU in here. So, there's this cool little, see that, that little triangle there? Oh, no. Yeah, oh. see that little triangle right there in the bottom? Okay. Well, I'm sure that they can. Okay. Um, there is a similar triangle on this board, okay? So you need to line them up. Where's the triangle? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so you need to hold it like this mm -hmm. on the sides. Uh, let's check and make sure nothing's bent. Is anything bent? No? Okay, so you hold it on the sides. And then you put Dang. it down in, yeah. Then you put it, yeah, it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, lot, it's a little bit heavier. Okay, you gotta make sure it's seated in there now. Hold on. Make sure. Okay. And you put this on there. And then you put, then you put that put that back down. Oh man, this feels just like setting up a mouse trap. Okay, well set up the mouse trap then. Oh. Okay. Oh, I just snap my finger in it. Yep, there you go. Alright, so this is our old fan. Now yeah, we don't need that. Oh, I mean we could use it though. Not right now. Um uh, so we're going to say the CPU. Yes. Okay. We're not using it right now, dude. Okay. Now it said it came pre-installed with the Intel one on it. So what we're going to do is you take this and you put it. Hey, okay, look. Yeah. You got to put it on there. Oh. oh. Line it up. Line it up. There you go. You got it? Yeah. Okay, then you take the thumb threads. Take the thumb. Thumb threads, yeah. Come on! Okay, then you put them on there. 
Now, the reason we're not using thermal paste is, again, because we're not gonna go like super high clocks and stuff, because our motherboard doesn't do that. So, I'm just using the included thermal pad, and that's it. So you can't use thermal paste and thermal pad. You can't use old thermal paste with new thermal pad. You have to pick one or the other. So in this case, we're going with just the thermal pad. We're not overclocking. And then when we go to switch out the motherboards, because the thermal pad will be used, I'll have, what, what do you mean you need help? You need me to hold it down? Yes, please. Okay. Because the thermal pads will be used up, we'll have to um, uh, use thermal paste later. So I'm, I'm okay using thermal pads right now. Satisfying sound? No. Oh, hold on. You gotta put all the thumb screws on first. Okay. So then, on top of those posts that he's putting in, go ahead, keep on. Are these cool little thumb screws you put on for the Intel? So. So I'm helping out by holding the back uh, mount up. So that it's not being done? Yeah, so it doesn't fall down. Okay, once we have them all on, you can tighten them up. Okay. Hey, now go across to this side. I like trying to, like, just kind of like tires and everything else where you do like the cross pattern. That's how we're gonna kind of do this. Make sure it, all, it tightens evenly. Okay, now do that one. You want me to tighten it forward? No, just you tighten it down till it starts getting real snug, then you go across, then you go back, then you go across. Okay, now go to this one. Oh, there's only four. Okay, now well, let me check and see how tight they are. Okay. Okay, that one's good. Oh, you want to do the peel? Go ahead, do the peel. Yeah. Everybody likes to do the peel. It's satisfying. Mm -hmm. One problem though. Nah, you can rip it off. See? It's not even sticky. No. What? Yeah. How did, how did it stay on there? How did it do oh, that? Oh, it looks so shiny. It is shiny. Shiny. All right, just to let you know, we had this mounted. The wrong way. Yeah, the wrong way. <laughs> the fans need to be on the front if you're going to front mount it. They're on the bottom if you're going to top mount it. This pulls air in this way. The other way, when they're on the other side, tries to pull the air out. We want fresh air coming in from the front, and then we'll mount our other fans to the top to blow air out the top. So we just had to switch them around, and it's just going to throw a little bit more work. So sometimes it pays to do a little bit more research. And just, just a, yeah. Like, if anything, it would be just this much research. Oh, that much? All right. It's not, it's not. So not this much, much, but like if, if this anything, much? If anything, that's the most. Okay. Well, sometimes it pays to do a little bit more research. And when I started looking up on fan rotation and stuff, because I'm not like super high up on the thing, uh, I realized, oh, our fans are backwards. So now we're fixing it. And then we're gonna put everything else together and show you the results. Right, here we are in the den, moment of truth. Everything's put back together. Um, we'll go over what it looks like before, but go ahead, push the button. It's right, it's right there on the top. You sure you yeah. want to suck air through the bottom? It will be fine. <gasps> Nothing happened. Why didn't anything happen? Nope. All crap. Um. Oh, yeah, it's not on. Oh, turn that on. Oh, there we go. Now it's the final moment of truth. Yep. Yeah. Woo! Ooh, look at that. Look at all that fancy, all them fancy lights now. So we ended up Ooh. mounting one of the uh, things on the bottom as an intake and another one on the top or on the on the back as a, uh, as a back going backwards as an exhaust. We couldn't mount on the top 
but uh, we did get the EVGA in and we've got airflow coming this way this is blowing out I bet that's taking in all right so here oh let's get what we've got here we got system let's see what we're running it is a oh hold on advanced memory settings voltages frequency settings that's one we want so it is reading 3.7 clock automatic is that good? well that's what it's supposed to be right so it looks like everything is working fine um power so we'll mess with all the bios later we're just gonna try and i just wanted to make sure everything came up and we're gonna go in and see if it's recognizing the i7 and then i'll look at the um i7 yes that it's the new chip we got oh. so we'll see if it recognizes the i7 and then we'll see uh if i can look at what the cpu um why temperatures restart? are because it, it restarts when you get out of the bios oh. okay so yeah <laughs> it it kind of figured itself out so now we got a bigger a bigger screen it just took the video card a second yeah. so let's see we want to go to uh, task manager I think I so I don't have all of the fun things uh, that you would normally download I'm gonna download those and play with them later but there's there's uh, stuff you can do for running benchmarks and all this other stuff and, and monitoring uh, temperatures. I'm gonna pull up the task manager. Here, hold this, buddy. Hold it over here so we can both be in it. Okay. Uh, this should tell me what we're running for the CPU. So we've got performance. All right, so if you look right here, we've installed the card correctly. It is the i7-8700K, right? It's running at 4.3 automatic, so the base is, is 3.7. It's already running at 4.3 just in this. Um, it's, bare, it's using like two gigs just to pull this up. The GPU is doing nothing because it's task manager and it's not supposed to do anything. So, and look, it says six cores, 12 logical processors. So what that means is it thinks it, has, it can use 12 instead of six. That's why I bought this card. Okay, so I have it all done up now, and this is the the thing it tells you to download, right? It's monitoring the CPU temperature, and that's the coolant temperature, and this is the pump speed. So, let's do something. LED sleep. Yeah, so there's this thing called Cinebench that is super hard on the um, computer. Why are you doing it? Um, I want to see... Um, what, see I just, I'm just leaving all this pump fan, everything, I'm just leaving it all default. But under idle, it's keeping the computer nice and cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. So it appears to be working, so we should be good now. Um, I'm gonna run some funny little tests on it and stuff and, and play with things. But we were able to get everything all ran up and everything's cooling and it's all back on and now we have a one an i7 8700k and you can kind of also hear the water flow yeah he likes that he can he thinks he can hear the water flow you can. it's really quiet oh look cinebench is coming up now what is cinebench so cinebench what it does is it will run your cpu okay um yes i accept okay so what we'll do here is we'll keep this, we'll put Cinebench over here, and then we will, um, it automatically picks up what we're running, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and click run. I just wanna see the temperatures go up, I wanna see the throttle. I'm not gonna like run it 100 times through or anything. Or like once or twice? No, just once, I just wanna see it, and then I'll start playing with it later. Um, like I said, we can't really overclock this board, so it's not like we can, um, oh, whoa. yeah, see it jumps up real fast, Holy crap. but so 60 is okay. So it's keeping it at right under 60, which is actually really good. So 60 degrees, so a hundred is where it caps out and it'll crash and it turns itself, like turns itself off. Ooh. So it's processing a lot of stuff right now. That one has just been there since Yeah, it takes time. It takes time. The first one. Yep. 
All these other ones are just stuck. And when we can overclock this, then I'll start trying to figure out if the CPU temperature's too much or too little or whatever. But I just want to make sure it's running good. I don't really want to get a new motherboard. I, I, I mean, sure, we can overclock it. It might run better, but I mean... Well, you're going to need another motherboard. The, yeah, but think of the installation time. Like... And how hard it might be to do. Oh, you're talking about how long it takes to change out a motherboard and stuff? Yeah, and then you have to take everything out and you have to do it again. And just like, oh, you it's all messed up. That's not all messed up. It just takes a little bit of time. We know more about taking in and out the AIO. We won't have to replace any of the fans. We'll just have to unhook everything from the motherboard and plug in a new motherboard. That's it. And put on thermal paste. So look, it's still running right at 62 which is really good and it'll tell us what speeds we got so we've got a 3316 whoa it's back down to like super low now yep it automatically drops Wait, back why down why is it at celsius because it reads in celsius oh i thought it read in fahrenheit nope so it throttled just fine, it went up just fine, all the temps are good, and it looks like it's a success. What do you think? Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Yeah? What'd you learn? You can move fans around. I, we can move <laughs> fans around. What else did you learn? Maybe do if we if we'd taken a little bit of time on the front end doing some research, you wouldn't have to do an uninstall, reinstall. Uninstall, reinstall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some measurements and stuff. But hey, we got our systems upgraded. We got parts for another system for the kids later on. Now we have a video card that a friend gave us. We have the i3-9100F. And yeah, we're, we're on our way to them having another, another uh, thing. So thank you guys very much. This has been another House of Jacobs build with uh, Jason and Gabe. Gabe. All right. Aww. And how old are you, buddy? 11. 11. 11, and you're helping put in uh, CPUs and um, Fan. fans and uh, water cooling. Yeah. All right. Oh.